any place I go, when you say, what do you do, and you say, we build wind turbines, it's like that, that just commands the conversation. Everybody wants to know how they work, how big they are. There is a, a, a recent number that said 15% um, of our energy in the state is, is wind power, which is astronomical. That's like what Germany or the Netherlands or some of those areas are doing in Europe. The growth and the development of our country depends on energy. You know, it's the same thing there they're working with in China or India is how do we support the energy needs that development demands. We got to be able to generate energy effectively and cleanly and then we got to distribute it. I think people really understand the energy crisis and I know for example in this state we've had a couple of referendums of trying to put in new coal-fired power plants. The state needs the energy the people have been very vocal, more so than ever before, on I don't want any more coal-fired power plants. I think there's kind of a groundswell from the average citizen on saying, why don't we do more of this? The big question, you know, of course, in everybody's mind is when's the economy coming back? Some of our customers have had trouble with just getting the capital they need to get a wind farm ready, get the roads and the underground power lines. You know, really, the turbine's kind of the last thing you need to hook up and get going. They talk about stimulus money and they talk about, you know, infusion and supporting these kind of things. A lot of us in this kind of business are waiting to see, okay, when will we really start to see the effects of, of some stimulus.